There it is. It seems like it's doing okay. Oh, no. It's a sun bear. Uh. Careful, everybody. We can't make any sudden move. The slow Loris is moving too slowly. It'll never get away in time. Oh, no. Slow Loris. The Sunda Slow Loris. <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Hey, what's that sound? Oh, it's a truck. The driver must be in a hurry. <laughs> what is it, Hero? It's an animal. Don't be afraid. We won't hurt you. Oh, the cage is locked. I'm sorry, animal. I can't open it. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Over here. Katie, are you there? We found an animal. It fell from a truck. Hi, Leo. Oh, wow. It has such big eyes. But why is it in a cage? I don't know, Katie. Unfortunately, it's locked and I can't open it. But can you find more information about it? Of course I can. Great. I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here with our furry little friend. I'll be right back. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Did you find anything, Katie? Yes, I did, Leo. The animal you found is a Sunda Slow Loris. A slow loris will freeze and cover its face when it feels it's in danger. This position allows it to lick its elbows, which will give the slow loris a toxic bite. This bite is painful and can make you very sick. I can't believe the slow loris has a toxic bite. It looks so cute and cuddly. Many people think so too which is why slow lorises are captured and sold as pets. Sadly, slow lorises do not live long when they are kept as pets. The slow loris is also endangered, which means it's in danger of disappearing forever. I see. So where does the Sunda slow loris come from? Sunda slow lorises live in rainforests in Southeast Asia. They are nocturnal, which means they sleep during the day. During the night, they slowly climb around in trees looking for food, like fruits, plants, insects, and even eggs. The truck you saw earlier could belong to an illegal pet trader, or maybe it was someone from Animal Protection taking the slow loris back to its home. Then we should do that too. This slow loris belongs in the wild. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Hello, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you have a Sunda Slow Loris with you. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We found it inside this cage, but the cage is locked. Let me help you there, Leo. There you go, buddy. Careful, Ranger Rocky. The Slow Loris has a toxic bite. You're absolutely right, Katie. And that's why only trained professionals like myself should handle this animal. Good. It still has all its teeth. You get some rest, buddy. Why are you checking for its teeth, Ranger Rocky? Normally, this slow and gentle creature is non-aggressive towards humans. 
but if the slow loris feels threatened, there is always the chance of it biting to defend itself. So before slow lorises are sold as pets, their sharp teeth are often pulled out. Without its teeth, a slow loris cannot be returned to the wild. Because without its teeth, a slow loris cannot hunt, eat properly, or defend itself. So it's a good thing the slow loris still has its teeth. Correct. This means you can safely return it to the wild. The slow loris likes to spend most of its time in trees. So if you want to find a home for the slow loris, you should look for tall, leafy trees. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here is a part of a rainforest. Oh no, the trees have been cut down. And on this side are tall, leafy trees. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a part of a rainforest where the trees have been cut down. And over there are tall, leafy trees. So where should we go? There? That's right. We need to go to the tall, leafy trees because slow lorises like to live in them. Let's go. This track is really narrow and bumpy. Leo, the cage with the slow loris fell out. Let's go down and have a look. There it is. It seems like it's doing okay. Oh no, it's a sun bear. Careful, everybody. We can't make any sudden move. The slow loris is moving too slowly. It'll never get away in time. Oh no, slow loris! Welcome to the game show on everyone's lips. It's time for Where in the World? In this game, three lucky contestants want to answer questions on the world. Get it right, and they will win an all expense paid trip to Triangle Aliens Planet. Joining us today are our mistress of melody, Cherry, friendly fixer upper, Fluffy, and the Imp. Today's first topic is. Whoever solves the question will be one step closer to our grand prize. But not to worry, because everyone gets to walk away with loads of fun today. So if everyone is ready, where in the world is this? Your first clue is... Milk! It's the national beverage of this mystery country. It's commonly enjoyed at every meal. A hint for our next clue. Someone very special happens to live here and enjoys milk. Especially with a plate of cookies! Good try, but that's not the answer. Your second clue is... That's right, Santa Claus! This mystery country loves Christmas. They even have a village, which some say is Santa's official North Pole cottage. Children from all over the world send their letters there. Imp, huh? you are correct! Aha! Today's mystery country is... Finland! Congratulations, Imp! Yeah! Well, that was our show. So much to see and so much to learn. Come back and find out more at Where, Where in the World! Don't go anywhere. We'll be back soon. We're almost done with the puzzle. That looks like it belongs here, Calc. Perfect! Um, Paula? There are no more puzzle pieces left, and the puzzle isn't done yet. You're right, Billy. Where are these missing pieces? Nothing's in the box either, Chalky. Oh, what a mystery. A mystery? Leave it to Detective Tim and his trusty assistant, Calc. We've watched lots of detective cartoons, so I'm an expert in solving mysteries. <laughs> okay, Detective Tim. So what should we do first? Hmm. We need to retrace our steps. What were we doing before this? We were taking the puzzle from that shelf. Right. Let's slowly walk back the same way we came, while keeping an eye out for loose puzzle pieces. Ta-da! The missing puzzle pieces. Detective Tim solved the mystery. Okay, okay, with the help of his assistant, Calc. 
Well done, Detective Tim and Assistant Cap. And I think the numbers want to know how many pieces you found. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's count the number of pieces as we place them in the puzzle. One, One two, two, three, four, five, six. six. Hmm, there's still one puzzle piece missing. Detective Tim and his assistant Calc are already on it. Let's look for clues. What is it, Calc? Made in El Goldrado. Good job, Calc. We should head there to find the missing puzzle piece. Okay, Detective Tim. Then let's go to the jungle. Our missing puzzle piece is nearby. I can feel it. Look, Paula. Isn't that Mr. Totem Head? Yippee! You're finally here, children. I've been waiting for you. Here's your missing puzzle piece. Aha! Mystery solved. Sorry I took it, but I needed to get you all to come here. Do you need our help, Mr. Totem Head? Yes, I had a lot of bananas, but after I woke up from my nap, they were all gone. I need your help to find out who took my precious bananas. Don't worry, Mr. Totem Head. Detective Tin and his assistant Calc are on it. Tell us, who are your suspects? Um, what's a suspect, Tim? A suspect is someone we think is guilty of doing something bad, like taking Mr. Totem Head's bananas. Well, I was talking to Buddy just now. There's Buddy! Hey, wait up, Mr. Buddy! Mr. Buddy, we have some questions. What were you doing earlier today? Me? I just want to be left alone. So, did you steal Mr. Totemhead's banana? Oh, this suspect doesn't seem to be interested in cooperating. I wonder why. Look, there's Jungle Boy. Jungle Boy, who has long arms, perfect for grabbing things like bananas. Let's ask him some questions. Jungle Boy, we would like to ask you a few questions about Mr. Totemhead's bananas. Jungle Boy! <laughs> Jungle Boy! How are we going to find out what Jungle Boy is saying? I have an idea. Let's offer him bananas to see if he takes them. Here, Jungle Boy. Want a banana? Jungle Boy. He doesn't seem to be interested, Tim. Oh, well, I give up. Here, Mr. Totemhead, you can have these bananas. No thanks. I ain't quite full. <clears throat> are you sure, Mr. Totemhead? You never say no to bananas. Unless... Oh, oh, I'm not giving up yet. Mr. Totemhead, can you bring us to the spot where you were napping? Of course. I did it. I solved the mystery of your missing bananas, Mr. Totemhead. Yippee! That's amazing. But, uh, how did you solve the mystery? This is how you solve a mystery. Step one, gather information. Step two, put the clues together. Step three, consider everything. That's it. This is how you solve a mystery. Okay, everybody, let's follow Tim's steps to solve the mystery. Step one, gather information. Well, Mr. Buddy tries to stay away from Mr. Totem Head. And Jungle Boy doesn't seem to be interested in bananas. Correct. And remember the banana peel on Mr. Totemhead's back earlier? Just like all the banana peels here in Mr. Totemhead's nap area. Step two, put the clues together. Huh? Where did the little calculator put me here? <laughs> I think Calc's trying to put the clues together, and you're the big clue in this case. A big clue? Me? That's right, Mr. Totemhead. Earlier, you told us that you were too full to eat bananas. Oh, yes, but I don't know why. 
Was Mr. Totem Head too full because he ate the missing bananas? Step three, consider everything. Mr. Totem Head, you don't remember eating your bananas because you were eating them in your sleep. That's why there are banana peels all over your nap area. Ooh. Mystery solved. Woohoo! We managed to find the missing puzzle piece, and Tim solved Mr. Totem Head's mystery, Paula. That's right, Billy. Number of the day. Six, Six bananas. Six puzzle pieces. Dance with Cal. completed the puzzle. Can we hang it somewhere instead of putting it back in the box, Paula? Sure, Billy. We just need some glue and paper to keep the pieces together. I'll get the paper. Um, Paula, I think the glue is missing. Missing glue? Another mystery to be solved by Detective Tim and his assistant, Calc. Oh, never mind, Tim. Here it is. Aww. <laughs> Do join us on our next adventure! Welcome back! This track is really narrow and bumpy. Leo, the cage with the slow loris fell out. Let's go down and have a look. There it is. It seems like it's doing okay. Oh no, it's a sun bear. Uh. Careful, everybody. We can't make any sudden move. The slow loris is moving too slowly. It'll never get away in time. Oh, no! Slow loris! Hey, what just happened? The sun bear smelled the toxic saliva on the slow loris's fur. So the sun bear knows that the slow loris is not good to eat. Well, that was close. Now, let's get you back to the jeep. Hmm, what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Sunda slow lorises are solitary animals, which means they like to be alone. So if you want to find a home for the slow loris, just look for a tree with a lot of space. Not for a clown with a funny face or a dress made of lace, but look for a tree with a lot of space. I see. So not for a clown with a funny face or a dress made of lace, but, but look, look for, for a tree, tree with a lot, with a lot of, space. of space. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find a home for the slow loris, you have to look for a tree with a lot of space. Good luck. Hero, there are a few dots in your radar. One of them might be a tree with a lot of space. What about this tree? Oh, there's a python in this tree. Let's keep looking. So what about this tree? Hmm, this tree is full of monkeys. There's no space for our slow loris here. So let's continue. Is this a tree with a lot of space? Yes, it is. There are no other animals in this tree. Great work, Hero. We're coming over.
We did it! We found a home for the Sunda Slow Loris. Great job, everyone! Hooray! Yay! We found a Sunda Slow Loris in our garden. We learned that the Slow Lorises should not be kept as pets, but that they belong in the wild. So we went to the rainforest to find the Sunda Slow Loris a home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. <laughs>